Washington. Israeli settlers attack a Palestinian village in the occupied West Bank, setting brush fires and hurling stones at villagers. Israeli rights group B'Tselem said clashes broke out when Israeli settlers attacked Palestinian homes overnight in the village of Jalud. The NGO said Israeli soldiers arrested 11 Palestinian villagers and wounded four others by firing rubber bullets. Separately, clashes broke out in the village of Beita in the northern West Bank. Israeli forces attacked Palestinians who held a protest during an Israeli military raid. The Palestinian Health Ministry said five villagers were wounded with live ammunition during the protest. Morakan Dill is a correspondent joining us from Occupied Ramallah to give us the latest on what has happened. Robert Fantina is an author and journalist who joins us from Kishinar, Ontario, in order to give us an analysis on this. Mona, uh, what has happened exactly, and what do we know about uh, the arrests that have taken place? Well, let's speak about the village of Jaloud. Uh, Israeli settlers raided the village uh, of Jaloud, uh, South Nablus, and attempted to kidnap a Palestinian child, according to uh, Palestinians living there. Uh, the uh, villagers uh, uh, tried to rescue uh, the child. The settlers attacked the people, and they uh, clashed with the uh, Palestinians living. Uh, in Jalut, a number of uh, Palestinians were wounded, especially that the Israeli uh, forces uh, rushed to uh, to uh, make sure uh, uh, make sure uh, uh, about the safety uh, and to rescue uh, the settlers uh, there. Uh, several hours before this incident, also settlers and Israeli forces raided a number of villages uh, uh, no, uh, north uh, the occupied West Bank, mainly around uh, <coughs> of Nablus, and uh, uh, five Palestinians were wounded by the Israeli army fire. Uh, the Israelis were conducting a, a search after a, 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 a shooting that took place at the Zatara checkpoint uh, central of uh, the occupied uh, West Bank, where the Israelis said the three settlers were wounded when a Palestinian vehicle, or at least a vehicle with a, uh, a Palestinian license plate, uh, stopped at the Zatara uh, checkpoint and opened fire at the settlers there, wounding the three. And up till the moment, the Israeli forces are still uh, looking uh, for uh, this uh, vehicle and the people who were inside it. Thank you very much for that. Okay, let's uh, turn to you, uh, Robert Fantina. When we take a look at the Israeli settlers, they have a certain culture which is obviously very anti-Palestinian, and uh, they are very rough with the Palestinians. Uh, and at the core of it is one of the uh, issues that has not been resolved over the decades, and that is the rightful uh, right that Palestinians have on their land of which the settlers claim to be their own. Um, tell us a little bit about that, if you can, and uh, why it is that uh, the settlers have such a severe uh, violence uh, oriented uh, attitude towards the Palestinians. The settlers have been taught that this land has been given to them by God, which is certainly a nonsensical teaching and a nonsensical belief. They uh, believe that they are superior and that the Palestinians are less than human. They attack them, they take their land, as you mentioned, they uh, destroy Palestinian homes with, uh, with complete impunity. They are not only uh, uh, not only does the IDF not stop them, the IDF supports them in doing this and committing these crimes against humanity and these violations of international law. The uh, Israeli settlers who are there illegally under international law uh, simply believe that they can take what they want. Their government has told them repeatedly, the government of Netanyahu and previous governments, that the uh, Palestinians who've lived there for thousands of years are the interlopers. They are the ones who do not belong there. They are the ones who need to be driven off. This is uh, this this myth is believed by some of them who would prefer to have this housing given to them, the citizenship given to them, uh, and at, at the expense of the Palestinians. The fact that this brutality, this injustice continues to this day and is ignored by most of the international community is beyond shocking. Uh, Mona, have we uh, seen other or similar type uh, incidents happen in any of the uh, settlements in terms of uh, uh, the settlers uh, and or clashes with Palestinians, um, aside from the one that's happened today? Well, it's uh, the Israeli settlers have been almost every night rushed to the streets. Uh, mainly the uh, streets that 